Welcome to CRM Crew, my name is Nick and in today's quick tutorial I'm going to be explaining how to create a view in the Salesforce CRM. So once you log into Salesforce of course you will come to the home screen. Now in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create a view. So what we can do is head over to the module that you'd like to create a view for. So I'm going to use accounts as an example. So I've gone over to accounts and obviously on the left hand side here we've got our drop down menu where we can see all of our current views. Now we may want to create a new one to see different information and also to filter certain records. So in order to do so, what we need to do is go to the cog on the right hand side here. Um, as you can see, use that drop down menu where the cog is and then press the new button. And this is essentially firstly where we need to give our view a name. So I'm going to call this test view. Um, you'll get the list API name, but if you just click away, it will automatically fill in unless you want to change it to something else. However, I'd recommend just leaving this, um, otherwise you probably overcomplicate matters. And then we've got who sees this list view. So this is our share options and we can select either all users or only yourself. So you've got those two options. Unfortunately, you can't select certain users. So I'm gonna say only I can see this list view and then I'm gonna press the save button. And then as you can see here, it has just created a view. We now have our view up the top left hand corner here. But the likelihood is we're going to want to make some changes to our view. So there are a couple of things we can do. Again, if we go to that cog and use the drop down menu, you can see here we've got a few more options. We can clone it if we wish. We can also rename it. We've got the sharing settings, which if you select is where we can select between only yourself or everyone. And these are the most important to so edit list filters and select fields to display. And finally, we can delete it if we need to. Now, edit list filters, I'm sure you're familiar with. If you select, we'll give you an option to filter the records that, that appear from this view. Now, I don't know how familiar you are with filters. That is a separate video in itself. However, I am just going to go over what you can do. So. As you can see here, we've currently got filter by owner and it's selected to my accounts. So I'm just going to select all accounts as an example. And then we can go ahead and add further filters. So we can press add filter on the left hand side here. And then we can filter by any field that is um, on this particular uh, module. So obviously on accounts, you've got all the fields here. So we can filter by all of these. So as an example, if I go to account name and then we've got the operator. We've got equals, not equal, less than, greater than, it contains, does not contain, starts with. So I'm going to say contains value CRM as our example today. And then I'm just going to press the done button. Now, I'm not going to go into filters extensively, but again, you can go ahead and start adding filter logic as well. So adding filter logic is going and or or. So, <laughs> so you can say account name equals or sorry account name contains crm and has another has another filter or you could go account name contains crm or and it will show the records or on an and or basis so do your research on that but this is just how to make those changes accordingly once you're happy with that just press the save button and again i also want to so as you can see that particular record contains crm in the account name so that is why that is showing in our test view and the other thing we can do is select fields to display so if we do that we can just move across as we clearly see um, just select and move across or move back the columns on our view so let's say i want to see these uh, the website for example i can move that across and let's say i don't want to see the um the phone number for example and then the other thing you can do is select and then move them up and down so you can move the columns where they are positioned on the screen once you've done that just press save as you can see that is updated automatically um, and there you have it that that is how you set up a view so hopefully that has given you a clear idea the cog button is the place to come and then you can make all those changes accordingly so that is how to uh, create a new view in salesforce crm i hope this video has clearly explained how to create a view in salesforce crm if you do have any further questions please drop me an email my details are in the description below otherwise thank you very much for watching and i'll see you shortly in the next video thank you and goodbye